Hello everyone! So today I'm doing this very bold, very cut crease <laughs> makeup look. Um, I bought I bought this eyeshadow. It was the L'Oreal Infallible one and they are so pretty. Like They are so cheap. They're so good. And I was inspired to this look. I love it. I love the way it turned out. And if you guys like it and you want to see how I got this look, then please keep watching. Okay, so to begin, I'm taking my Too Faced Born This Way Concealer and I'm priming my eyelids. And I'm blending that in with a Morphe G6 brush. The reason why I use a concealer instead of an eyeshadow primer is because I do have some discoloration in my eyelids. And I do have very veiny eyelids and I just feel like my eyeshadows look a lot better if I prime with a concealer instead of an eyeshadow primer. And then to set that all in place, I'm using my NYC Translucent Face Powder and I'm using my e.l.f. blush brush to do this. Then I'm going to be going in with my Maybelline Single Eyeshadow in the shade Made for Mocha. And I'm taking this e.l.f. Small Precision Brush to, bring it, to begin cutting the crease. Um, I recommend always looking down into a mirror whenever you're trying to do this because it can help you see where your natural crease is. And for me, I have to draw my crease a little bit higher than what it naturally is so you can actually see it whenever I do this look. Also if you're not careful whenever you open your eyes and look straight into a mirror it can you can lose some of that color so I also recommend whenever you get the depth that you want to look straight into a mirror and to make sure that you can still see the color and that it doesn't sink back into the crease once you open your eyes. Next I'm taking the shade Heartbreaker from my Tartlet Tees palette and I'm taking that on my Simply Essential FE2 brush and I'm just going to begin to blend out the crease color and smoke it out just a little bit. Then I'm going back in with the shade Made for Mocha and I'm going in with an e.l.f. crease brush. I'm just going to deepen the color up and just blend it out in the process. Then I'm taking some more Heartbreaker on the same FE2 brush. I'm just going to blend some more. This look is basically all just blending. <laughs> you can never blend enough. And then I'm taking a clean L flat blending brush. And I'm just going to blend out the edges. Just make sure there's no harsh lines or anything like that. And I'm also taking a light brown shade to further blend everything out. I can't remember what shade I used and I forgot to like I forgot to show it but I mean honestly any like just a light brown color will work. This color isn't very important. It just blends it out nicer. And then I'm darkening up the crease some more with that same made for mocha color just because some of the pigmentation got a little bit blended away in the process. Now I'm going back in with the smaller elf crease brush the same color made for mocha and I'm just going to keep deepening up the color. And then I'm taking my Simply Essential FE2 brush with no additional color, or no additional color, with no additional product or anything like that. And I'm just going to blend everything out and just... Now I'm taking this Maybelline Color Tattoo in Edgy Emerald and I'm going in with my Morphe M1704 brush and I'm just going to cover the lid with this cream color and it's also just going to help to cut the crease out and make the crease more defined. And also whenever I do this process as well I also look down into a mirror just to be sure that I'm you know coloring in the right places, making sure that my crease doesn't go up too high, doesn't come down too low or anything like that. And I also try to bring the crease up at the edge of my eye to make my eyes look more elongated. This really helps out if you don't have very big eyes because I definitely don't. If you bring the color up at the very edge of your eyes, it will make them look more 
it will make them look more like turned upwards instead of just closing off it'll make your eyes look more cat like and look, look a lot bigger Next, I'm taking this L'Oreal Infallible Eyeshadow in 337 Endless C, and I'm taking it on another Morphe M1704 brush, but it's a clean one. I put the cream color down first, number one, because it's easier to cut the crease out with a cream color, but I also put the cream color down first just because it would make this blue color a lot more pigmented and just a lot more vibrant. Next, I'm taking this Hard Candy Walk the Line Eyeliner, and I'm putting it right between the blue and the crease color to find, to find it even more. And then I applied mascara and lashes off camera. I'm pretty sure I used the Ardell Soft Touch, but I'm not totally positive. I wanted a set of eyelashes that wasn't going to cover up my eyeshadow, but I still wanted some eyelashes because I looked kind of weird without them. <laughs> And now I'm just using a little bit more Made for Mocha on the same small elf crease brush. And I'm just deepening the color. I'm going right above the silver liner. Of course, I'm making sure that this eyeliner was dry before I did this. Because if it's not dry, you're going to ruin everything. It's going to be bad. <laughs> Now I'm using my Smashbox Photo Finish Primer and I'm using this because I want a very flawless face. I feel like with this eye look where it's so dramatic you really really need a flawless face. I'm also going in with my Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless. I'm mixing the shades 125 and 230 and I'm going to be applying that with my Real Techniques Expert Face Brush. Next, I'm taking my Too Faced Born This Way Concealer in Light, and I'm using this to highlight underneath my eyes, my nose, my cupid's bow, my chin, and my forehead. And I'm also using my Beauty Blender to blend that out, and I'm really pressing this into the skin. Um, pressing this down will be a lot more beneficial than swiping it across your face, just because whenever you press the product into your skin, especially with a beauty blender, it's going to soak up the excess product and it's also just going to push the product right into your skin and not wipe it away, not take off the foundation underneath or anything like that. Letting you know. 
Next, I'm using my NYC Smooth Skin Translucent Face Powder with my Flawless Concealer Brush by e.l.f. And I'm setting my underneath... I'm setting underneath my eyes with that, and then I'm going to switch to my e.l.f. Professional Face Brush. It's just a big brush. It's, ugh, it's so good for the price. It's only like a dollar. Now I'm using my Hoola Bronzer by Benefit and I'm using my Eco Tools Precision Blush Brush to contour. I don't know why, but I love this brush to contour. It's just, it's very flat and it's very defined. I like it a lot. And then I'm taking my Eco Tools bronzing brush, that same bronzer from Benefit, and I'm just going to add some color back into my forehead, you know, give myself some more depth and dimension. And I'm also going to use that brush to blend out the contour, just so it's not as harsh and it looks more natural. <laughs> I'm taking my Lorac blush in Prism with my e.l.f. complexion brush and I'm putting that on apples my cheeks and then I'm blending it back into my cheekbones. Then to highlight, I'm taking my Becca highlighter in the shade Opal. I'm using my e.l.f. fan brush and I'm only highlighting my cheekbones and my nose for this look. Just because I feel like the eyes are so sparkly and so in your face, you don't want your whole face to be sparkling and shimmering everywhere. Then I'm using the same translucent powder I used underneath my eyes and the same concealer brush and I'm just going to bake a little bit. I'm just going to apply a light amount underneath my contour. I don't want very much. I don't want this to be too intense. I just feel like I got a little sloppy with it. Then for the lower lash line, I am taking Made for Mocha and Heartbreaker on an e.l.f. eyeshadow brush. It's just a basic brush. Nothing spectacular. And I'm just going to smudge that all over my lower lash line. And I didn't show it on camera because I had to get so close to the mirror to do this. But I also put some of that glitter liner just onto the inner part of my lower lash line. Just to kind of tie it together and just add a little something extra there. Then I applied Opal, the same color I highlighted my cheekbones with, as my inner corner highlight. And I didn't make this too intense. I just thought it was, an, it was nice to have a little bit of shimmer in there. And I did my eyebrows off camera. I used my Anastasia Brow Definer and Taupe. And then I set my eyebrows with my NYX Tinted Brow Gel in the shade Blonde. Okay, and then lastly, I took my Stila Liquid Lipstick in the shade Carmelo. And I just put that all over my lips. I did overline my lips just a little bit, but not much. If you did enjoy, please don't forget to thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe or leave me a nice comment or anything like that. But yeah, thank you guys for watching, and if you like this, then there'll be more videos to come. Bye, guys!